How's it going, my peeps? It is now time for the SmackDown results slash highlights and review video. I'll go over the results, some of the highlights of my opinion, and give you guys my thoughts, my review on the show. So, it kicks off with a tag team matchup. Eric Rowan, or yeah, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper versus the Usos. And Eric and Luke had dominated most of the matchup. In the end, both Usos go for like a top rope mover, you know, try and jump from the inside of the ring to the outside on Eric and Luke. One of them, one of the Usos jumps successfully on Eric. The other one tries to jump on Luke, but Luke gets on the apron, gives him a forearm, a forearm to the head. He gets in the ring and then hits his clothesline finisher, the spinning clothesline or whatever it's called, covers the Uso and wins the matchup. And the reason why, the reason why I keep saying covers the Uso or one of them and this and that, it's because to this day I still cannot, I still have trouble figure, figuring out who is Jimmy, who is Jay. But do not worry Uso fans, I actually know who gets attacked after the matchup, it's Jimmy Uso. After the match, Eric and Luke grab Jimmy Uso. And Bray Wyatt hits Sister Abigail on him. And the only reason why I I do know that was Jimmy Uso is because Michael Cole mentioned it on commentary. <laughs> so after that, he gets a promo. And he ends the promo by saying, Punk and Brian, he advises them to run. And then they show a replay of what happened on Raw where CM Punk beat the shit out of Paul Heyman with the kendo stick again. And then backstage, you see Ryback and Curtis Sacks will have a tag team match in the main event against Daniel Bryan and CM Punk on SmackDown. And Ryback tells Curtis Axel, if you're still sucking up to Paul Heyman, if you're still a Paul Heyman guy, not only do I not want to team with you tonight, but I also have a problem with you. And Curtis Axel says, I'm a suck up. And then he goes on to talk about how Ryback was a suck up to Paul Heyman. And how, you know, Paul Heyman got down to one knee to propose to him, kissed, kissed him on the cheek. And Ryback says that that was then. And then eventually Curtis Axel says he's no longer a Paul Heyman guy. And he doesn't need him, and nor does Ryback. So let's, you know, take out their frustrations. Well, Curtis Axel says that. He says, let's take out our frustrations tonight on Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. And then Ryback agrees and leaves. And then Natalia faced off against Tamina in a, a quick, quick matchup. I mean, I know Divas matches are short, but this one was like this was even it was it wasn't even two minutes long. It was so short. Uh, at the end of the matchup, AJ gets on the apron to distract Natalia. It fails though because Natalia, I mean Tamina charges Natalia. Natalia gets out of the way. Tamina accidentally hits AJ. Natalia rolls up Tamina, but then decides instead she's gonna lock on the sharpshooter. Locks it in. Tamina taps out. Natalia wins the match. And then following that, you've got Brad Maddox coming up to Vicky backstage after they show the replay of Vic Show choke slamming Randy through the announcer's table. And Brad Maddox tells Vicky, you're going to be in trouble on Raw for making that matchup, for making Randy versus Cody and Goldust. And then Vicky says, how am I going to be in trouble when you are the general manager of Raw and Kane's the director, director of operations, but neither of you overruled my decision? So you guys are gonna be in trouble, and I'm gonna be ha I'm gonna have fun watching you guys squirm. And after that, it was our truth teaming up with the primetime players to face off against 3MB, or now known as the Union Jacks. And this was also a pretty quick match, longer than the Divas match though. And it was mostly it was mostly Titus O'Neil in the matchup where. The Union Jacks would work on Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil eventually gets the hot tag to our truth Our truth gets in. He uh, cleans out. And he went for the cover after, I believe, his face buster suplex or whatever. Uh, Drew and and Jinder interfered. So then Darren Young and Titus O'Neil got in the ring. Titus O'Neil hit his finisher on Jinder Mahal. While Darren Young hit his gut buster finisher. I think it's called the gut check on... Drew McIntyre, and then r -Truth hit the little Jimmy on Heath Slater for the 1-2-3, so r -Truth, prime primetime players win after the matchup, they dance, and that was it for that. And then came time for the arm wrestling competition, or match, competition I guess, uh, between Del Rio and John Cena. Del Rio comes out first, he calls out John Cena, 
John Cena doesn't come out for a while, but then he eventually comes out and he asks the crowd if they want to see it and then he says well superman approves because there's like a guy in the crowd just a superman and he's chanting yes 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 so they do the arm wrestling uh, match and john cena wins like wins it like instantly once they lock hands and then dario's like you know i'm not ready i'm not ready or actually he says i wasn't ready so dario says let's go one more time and he takes a bit of time this time, but uh, they go ahead and do it. And once again, John Cena gets it instantly and wins again. But right after he wins, Del Rio punches him in the head. And then he goes on the attack, attacking John Cena's arm. And then he super kicked John Cena. And then he grabbed the sealed chair, tried to put John Cena's arm in between the chair. And I guess trying to go for the cross arm breaker. But John Cena got up and got took the cheer, sealed chair out of his hand or off his arm. But uh, Del Rio kept on attacking John Cena. John Cena then char tries to charge Del Rio, but Del Rio counters into a spine buster through the same table they use for the arm wrestling. The Funkadactyls then faced off against the Bell Twins. And in the end of the match, Ray Bella goes for her uh, face buster finisher, but Naomi counters. She pushes she uh, pushes Brie Bella away towards the ropes. Brie Bella comes back and gets hit with the rear view from Naomi. Naomi covers her, wins the match up, so fucking Dactyls beat the Bell Twins. And then there's an interview, Renee Young interviews CM Punk and Daniel Bryan about the Wyatt family. She asks them a couple questions in the beginning, like three questions, and they both say yes at the same time. And then eventually CM Punk says, you know, uh, they're going to take care of the Wyatts or they take care of Eric and Luke Harper at Survivor Series. And then after that, they're going to go after Bray Wyatt because you know what they say to take out a snake, you got to take off his head. And then in the match of the year candidate, the Great Khali takes on a returning Hunico and Camacho in a handicap matchup. Matchup lasted maybe two minutes. It wasn't a handicap match where they're both in the ring at the same time. They have to tag each other in. But towards the end, they were both in the ring at the same time just because they were trying to, you know, take out Khali. Khali in the end hits his double handed choke slam or double choke slam. Double handed choke slam to Hunico and wins the match following that was the main event which was daniel bryan teaming up with cm punk to take on ryback and curtis axel and in this matchup curtis axel hit ryback twice he hit him the first time when ryback was on the apron curtis axel was the legal man ryback was just holding cm punk for curtis axel to punch him and curtis axel punched him a couple times in the guts and then he went for a final punch, I guess, to the head, but CM Punk got out of the way, so instead he took down Ryback off the apron, and then CM Punk hit the swinging neckbreaker, and that's when he got the hot tag to Daniel Bryan. Once Daniel Bryan got in, Ryback also got in, uh, but he wasn't legal. Uh, was he the legal guy? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was, because Curtis Axel had just, you know, punched him, which counts as a tag. Uh, so Ryback gets in. Daniel Bryan does his, you know, signature moves, uh, the, the moonsaults from, from the uh, turnbuckle. Not an actual moonsault onto Ryback, but, you know, Daniel Bryan's moves. Anyways, <laughs> Daniel Bryan hits the kicks, and then he, uh, after the final kick, he goes for the cover, and Curtis Axel tries to break the cover, but Daniel Bryan sees him coming, so he gets out of the way, and once again, Curtis Axel hits Ryback. Then CM Punk took out Curtis Axel out of the ring with a clothesline, Daniel Bryan then locks on the yes lock on Ryback, and before Ryback taps out, the uh, Wyatt's music hits, or, you know, the, the sign or whatever, lights go out, and then Eric and Luke are in the ring, but CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are nowhere to be seen. So they're just looking around, they can't see CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, they can't find them. And then Curtis Axel gets back in the ring and picks up Ryback, helps him up, but Ryback pushes him away, I get, you know, because he's mad due to Curtis Axel hitting him like twice in the matchup. He pushes Curtis Axel away into, you guessed it, one of the Wyatts. And then they get mad. Curtis Axel's like, no, no, you know, you saw what happened. You, you pushed me, you know, I didn't do I didn't do anything. But they don't care, so they start beating up Curtis Axel. After they beat up Curtis Axel, they start beating up Ryback. And once they beat up Ryback... They, 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 Bray Wyatt is well. They send Curtis Axel and Ryback right to the outside, where Bray Wyatt just kicks Curtis Axel or whatever while he's down. And 
Then from behind, or from, from under the ring, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk come out, and then Daniel Bryan drop kicks uh, Eric from behind on the knee, or leg, whatever, and CM Punk kicks Luke in the head, and then they right away duck out of the ring as Bray Wyatt goes in the ring, and then they go up the stage and taunt the Wyatt family. So CM Punk and Daniel Bryan outsmarted the Wyatt family in this case. One of the highlights in the matchup, you had Daniel Bryan and CM Punk hitting a double suicide dive at the same time onto Ryback and Kurt Saxel. Anyways, as far as what I thought about SmackDown tonight, I'll be honest with you guys. I did not enjoy SmackDown tonight. I thought it was rather boring. It was just, once again, it was same case as last week, where watching SmackDown, it just felt like Raw was this much better show, was a much more important show, and SmackDown was more so like a, like a, I guess, I don't know, a main event version of main events, something like that, if, if that makes sense, and I'm talking about main event the show. It just, Raw was better this week, definitely a lot, a lot better, and... You know, especially with the, with the ending of Raw, with a freaking awesome ending with the Wyatts and the Shield fighting. It, it was an epic ending for Raw, not so epic ending for SmackDown. And the matches on SmackDown this week, really, there no match really stood out. Uh, last week, you know, I thought the tag team match, our troop teaming up with the Usos versus... Um, who was it, I think, versus 3MB? I thought that was an entertaining matchup. Uh, this week, Archuve and the uh, the primetime players versus 3MB, it was an okay match, but I, I feel last week's six-man tag team match was a little bit better. And, yeah, if, if I have to get a rating for tonight's show, I'd give it actually a 5 on 10. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can click that like button down below. We'll appreciate it. With that said, I'm up, guys. See ya.